All right, so with the 53rd pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Chicago Bears select defensive tackle Jervon Dexter Sr. out of Florida and another big human being, 6'6", 312 pounds, played for the Florida Gators. And not going to lie, it, this might have been a bit of a reach from what I've seen. Not going to lie to you, I haven't really checked this guy out too much, but from what I've seen from um, a lot of mock drafts and people on Twitter is that they're saying that this guy was more of a third, fourth round pick. So, you know, not exactly sure the thought process there on, on taking him that early, unless maybe Ryan Post thought someone else was going to take him. But who knows, whatever the case is, we don't know anything until game day. So welcome to the Bears, Javon Dexter. Like I said, six foot six, 312 pounds. This dude is a monster. And he is actually really good. Like he's not maybe second round material, but from what I've seen on tape, he does maul people pretty well. I mean, as you should at being six foot six, 312 pounds. Uh, he appeared in 36 games with 24 starts, registering a total of 125 tackles, uh, 10 and a half tackles for a loss, five sacks and two interceptions. So, I mean, this guy is, you know, a as good as you can get for a second round pick. Not, you know, anything elite, not first round talent, but you know, I like it because especially since this addresses a need, a positional need which is d-line before this pick we had pretty much nobody on the d-line that we could really feel confident in and i'm not saying that this is a guy that we can feel confident in yet but he definitely helps and if he turns into you know anything solid that's already an upgrade for our defensive line because last year i believe we only had like 17 or 18 sacks total and we were one of the worst d lines if not the worst defensive line unit in the nfl last year so any help to the d line is going to be a massive help to our defense and will give our secondary and our linebackers much less time to have to cover all over the field and you know wait for our d line to go sack the qb or stop the run so those were two big things you know getting to the quarterback and, and stopping to run so i'm really glad that ryan poles addressed this you know we don't know until later on in the season if he's actually a good pick but for now this addresses a position of need i like it let me know what you guys think and i'm out